Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadongster Born, Bob Built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today we're going to be discussing some plans that have been submitted by the Alton Towers Resort on a brand new heritage tour. Now, this sounds very exciting, I'm not going to lie. So we've got all the specifics about it. We've got some uh, planning images which have been officially from Towers Times, so a massive shout out to Towers Times for the plans used in this video while we talk about all the information. Um, and also a massive shout out to Towers Times for the information because this is from their article that was uploaded on October 12th. Uh, I've gone a about a week or two without talking about this. So, But to be honest, it's nice to see it and sort of, you know, gradually bring up my thoughts about it. So uh, now is the time to finally release the video on this. So before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. You know, uh, tell your friends to subscribe. We're nearly at half a million subs. We're uh, we've hit the 1,900 sub mark. We're about 100 away now from 2,000 subscribers. We're nearly at half a million views as well. I'm not too sure how many views run exactly overall in total, but we're nearly at half a million. So uh, let's hit that before the end of the year at least as well. And for now, let's get started. So again, once again, I'll say it again. A uh, massive shout out to Towers Times for the information in the article and the planning images that you're going to see on your screen throughout this uh, information reading. And for now, let's have a look at the information surrounding the submitted plans for a brand new heritage tour. So officially from Towers Times, Alton Towers Resort have submitted an application to establish an enhanced and slightly extended heritage tour through the Towers Ruins. The proposals are made up of two key parts, the alteration and increased length of the heritage tour in the towers, ruins and the gardens, and the regularization of the theming for the three scare mazes that are installed in the building for Scarefest. The heritage tour appears to represent a formalization of the accessibility of the towers, ruins to theme park guests. Much the same as the existing arrangements, guests will be able to uh, able to self-navigate a planned route around the towers and courtyard gardens. Documents submitted as part of an application provide will insight into the route that will tour the take. Guests will enter through Her Ladyship's Garden Courtyard, passing by the chapel on the lower ground level. The ground floor route will then begin in the conservatory before heading through the drawing room and on into the long gallery. The route then proceeds through the family dining room and into the great banqueting hall, which as a focal point of the north elevation externally is considered a high significant room and positive part of the tour. Visitors will then return to the drawing room and make their way up to the staircase in the library to the next level. On the first floor, the tour take guests through the north and west wings of the building. The new route leads into areas which have not been accessible previously. These include the west library and state bedrooms, i.e. the Pugin rooms, which, as it's argued, adds to the positive effect from a planning perspective. Guests can then use the west wing staircase, which is known as Poets Bay Staircase, to access the roof and then go across via the tower onto the east wing roof and the great dining hall roof. Visitors then exit back down to the staircase to the library and drawing room on the ground floor. This route will be available for most of the period that the theme park is open. The long gallery, family dining room and banqueting hall will close from 17th of August, with these being the areas currently occupied by the interior queue line and start of the attic, Terror of the Towers, which is one of the scare mazes, and a ladyship's garden and the remaining route will close from the 7th of September or the end of the school's holidays. Her Ladyship's Garden and the Full Heritage Tour routes will then be reopened for the Christmas event from the end of November. Now, Father Michael Fisher, a widely recognised expert of the art and art architecture of the English Gothic Revival style, particularly the life and work of A.W.N. Pugin, has um, been consulted in relation to the Heritage Tour and assisted with developing a more detailed guest experience. The proposal is for guests to still be able to freely navigate the route through the building, but with the addition of signage boards illustrating the history of each room and describing how the Talbot family would have inhabited them. Guided tours by appointment will also be made available if there is a demand, and these would operate both during uh, the on and off theme park season. The second element of the application is for the retrospective list of building consent and the regularization of the theming for three scare mazes that can be installed in the building for Scarefest. This application makes specific reference to these mazes being the Attic, Terror of the Towers, Altonville Mine Tours, the Legend of the Skin, Sna skin Statues, and apparently, Subspecies the Endgames. Now, of course, this maze is not returning for 2020 Scarefest, but this could suggest a future return 
or at least that unsurprisingly it is intended that this area of the towers will continue to be used for scare mazes so maybe not subspecies but a different one so that potentially hints that maybe 2021 scare fest if these plans get approved before 2021 scare fest maybe a brand new maze in that location um, so the plans that do note that the shipping containers which house the final section of subspecies are no longer in use of course these are be being repurposed for Freak Show Toxic Junkyard, which is the brand new maze uh, for this year. And so in any future maze, guests would exit after crossing the temporary scaffold bridge. In interestingly, the application suggests the mazes would on also only be open to the public during fireworks, with them said to operate from early October to firework close in November. Since then, there is a significant cost associated with the installation and removal of the theming for the scare mazes, and the application seems to assert a certain the areas of the building where the theming could remain permanently for the lifespan of the scare maze. Now, it's noted that this will continue to always be reversible, freestanding theming or propped, braced or weighed into position with the installation of typically beginning in mid-August. Where there is an overlap between the heritage tour route and the areas used for scare maze, the resort are committed to remove this theming by the end of November. Otherwise, it's proposed that the theme will remain in situ all year. This is understood to represent the approach that the theming will remain in situ all year and it's understood to represent the approach already taken. However, the resort seem to require the formalise and define the usage. As part of the application, the resort have therefore submitted detailed layout plans for the attic, Altonville mine tours and subspecies providing a unique insight into the scare mazes and of course there are closer looks at these um, which details theming features, special effects, equipment and behind the scenes photos. It's a brand new feature on the Towers Times website so you guys can check out the article and there will be a link to that new feature page on their website so you can go and check that out for yourselves. In support of the proposals, the application notes the resort are committed to a management plan to undertake systematic maintenance across the tower's ruins, which in the last year has included repairs to areas of flat roofs, tiling and lead work for the octagon, armory and gallery. While the point is made that the insertion of the scare maze theme may have a negative effect on the building, reducing the ability for guests to perceive the internal evidential and the historic value, it is noted that many of the interior areas now hold limited heritage value. Furthermore, it's argued that the use of towers ruined for scare mazes means that building is generally utilised for public enjoyment and generating revenue, which effectively subsides the repair and restoration work that the resort undertakes. Now, are you intrigued to see what the Enhanced Heritage Tour entails? Make sure you stay tuned for more. So there we go, a lot of information there about this extended Enhanced Heritage Tour and um, sort of giving a lot about the scare maze and their future as well. So it's looking very likely that the Attic Terror of the Towers and uh, Altonville Mine Tours, they're definitely here for the long-term future once these plans get passed uh, to enhance the Heritage Tour. The Heritage Tour itself sounds, itself sounds amazing. And then the stuff about subspecies. Now, of course, we know that's not coming back for this year's Scarefest. Obviously, this is now going ahead. Uh, this Scarefest event, but we knew it wasn't coming back. We knew that the Freak Show Toxic Junk Lab was brand new. They used the containers from the ending of subspecies to provide this brand new maze, and we know that subspecies wasn't coming back. This is very exciting, though, the fact that maybe subspecies could return in a brand new light for 2021 if these plans get passed before then, or they bring in a brand new maze with a similar type of uh, style of theming that they use for subspecies if they're going to do the whole theming stuff inside the towers um, and it's very exciting to see that maybe something like a subspecies but not named subspecies but similar theme could come into the resort for 2021 Scarefest especially if these plans get passed before then so it's very exciting in terms of the heritage tour itself it sounds very very lovely and um, you know it'd be nice to um, go down to Alton Towers uh, once these plans get passed and these heritage tours start going ahead. And it'd be nice to actually, you know, film the heritage tour and do a full walk through the heritage tour. So, uh, if you guys want to see that in the future once these plans get passed and it officially starts and, you know, it, they officially begin it, then uh, comment down below because I'd love to go down to Alton Towers and do it, do a full walk through the heritage tour. Um, but in terms of the whole base of it, not just the heritage tour, but Scarefest keeping the mazes open until fireworks close at the end of um, uh, November. You know, that that's very exciting. Really, really exciting. And 
Not only is it going to be a nice heritage entertainment, it's also going to be good public enjoyment as well. So, fair play to Alton Towers. Hopefully these plans do get passed, but um, we'll see what happens. We'll have to see what happens. So, again, massive thank you to Towers Times once again for the information and, of course, the photos of the plans used in this video. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more thrilling YouTube videos for more. And for now, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.